So we're not going to spend a lot of time on this, but we are big believers in setting goals. And I will tell you that we believe in smarter goals. We want them to be specific, measurable, an action item, or actionable, realistic. We want them to have a timetable on them. And I want you to evaluate your goals and then reward yourself as you make little progress along the way. You want to set your goals on autopilot. You want to get so this happens whether you think about it or whether you don't think about it, right? You already do it in getting to work. Who has a regular job they go to? So you have a certain time you have to be at work, right? So you don't think about it. You have a routine that you get to work on time every day. That's what you do. Even if you're off in your morning, if you get up a little bit late, you adjust accordingly on the fly to get there quicker, right? Or to shorten your cycle of cleaning. Maybe you don't bathe that day. I don't know. No questions here, okay? But you, that it all happens, right? You get up and say, ah, I don't have time for a shower, right? So you, have, you know you have to be there. Again, it's a smarter goal. It has all the characteristics of a smarter goal. We plan out each morning to get there on time. And you get so you just do it over and over and over again. How many times on a Saturday or a day off did you maybe drive like you were going to work, get halfway there and go, what am I doing? But why do we do that? Programmed. We're programmed. We have programmed ourselves. We've programmed that goal because we do it over and over and over again. And so we do it on our day off because we think, well, that's just what we're doing. Not even paying attention. You ever get to your goal and wonder how you got there? If you thought back, I wonder how, like when I drove there, did I drive today? Or, how did I even get here? Because you're in a daydream as you're going there thinking about something else because you're programmed. Your body knows where to go, when to turn. It just, it's just programmed to do that, right? We are on autopilot. The foundation of any trip is very simple. You have to know where you're going. That's the foundation of a trip. If it's going to go on a trip, where are you going? I don't know. Well, you're not really going on a trip, Right? If you don't know where you're going, how will you know when you get there? You got to know what your goal is. Otherwise, you'll have no idea if you're even close, right? No idea. What's a successful foundation for real estate investing? You can have your goal and set up an autopilot. Again, what is your goal and how do you turn it on autopilot? Here are some suggestions. The same way you're getting to work on time goal wound up on autopilot, and you do it without thinking, even on your days off. You need constant daily focus. Repetition, 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 because repetition creates muscle memory. You drive to work, you don't think about it. You don't even remember getting there because your muscles do things because you've programmed your body to do it over and over and over again. I'm encouraging you to start to program yourself to do the things you have to do to be a successful real estate investor to help you reach your why. Make it something you do without thinking about it. Look at properties every day online. It's not hard to do. Matter of fact, pretty simple. Take some time away from Facebook for five minutes and look at a house. Don't be on there just bashing people for no apparent reason, right? <coughs> Drive a different way looking for vacant houses. Read investing articles. Watch training videos every day. Make calls to ask about properties. Make offers every week. This is sort of a progression. This is kind of how you go with it, right? Watch out because before too long, you'll be a real estate investor. Results come from actions. These are simple actions you start, and you start programming yourself, and before you know it, that's just what you do and who you are. 12 years ago, I was not a real estate investor. Not at all. I knew nothing about it. You think I was scared of my first one? Hell yeah. I mean, I signed some papers, and I bought, but I didn't care because I was running out of money. And I had a strong desire to get to a better place in life. I don't think I told you guys earlier, when on our first flip, we were using every resource we had. So both going through divorces, running out of cash, $80,000 in credit card debt, running out of credit, available credit, funding the whole deal on our credit cards. When that house was going to sell, we were down to our last $1,400 of anything. Any place, like cash, credit, piggy banks, I can remember rolling quarters, saying it to ourselves, okay, so we have multiple mortgages coming due next month. I'm screwed if this house doesn't sell. You think I was scared? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. But I, had, I was trapped, and I had, to, I had to finish it. I had to finish the game. And we literally, within that week, sold it. We closed it like 35 days later. Boom. Paid off all the stuff we had and continued on the journey. 
Did the next one, even though I was a little bit scared. Did the next one, ran out of money. Think that was scary? Yeah, ran out of money, ran out of a funding source. That's scary. Midstream going, hey, see so how many more money. Huh. Okay. But at, in time, this just became what I was and what I did because I kept pushing forward and it created muscle memory. And now I'm a real estate investor. Now I teach it. Now I've done hundreds, which sounds, as it comes out of my mouth, it sounds crazy to me. I feel like a crazy person up here. I've done 600 houses. I'm like, is that right? I know it's right, but I, I know it's right here, but it doesn't feel right. It just sounds like a ridiculous number. But because of just doing it over and over, it's created that muscle memory. Muscle memory.